What loophole did you exploit for years before someone found out? The McDonald's app used to have an entry in the order book for garlic parmesan fries that you only found through the search option. It cost zero dollars. Every time I ordered it I got free regular fries. Also you can set the drink option on Happy Meals to coffee, which is not really a loophole but handy. In Spain you can get a beer with the Happy Meal. Parking meters took credit cards. But they weren't actually connected to a live network at all times. The machine just confirmed the card number was valid and was not expired, then spit out a valid pass. So when my card number got stolen and replaced, I kept my old, cancelled card. Of course when the system tried to run the card later it would be declined. My car and I were long gone by then. Sadly they wised up and now it charges your card before giving you a pass. Because I was a good student and rarely got into trouble, I was allowed to have my own phone extension in my room. So, if I was out past curfew, I'd call home. When my mom answered, I'd say, it's for me. I've got it. And she'd think I was up in my room. She never did catch on. When I was a kid there was a pay phone down the street that if you put your quarter in made a call but no one answered it would give you back two quarters. Went there all the time and called home when I knew no one was there to answer. Used to work for the BBC, they have, as you'd expect, their entire archive digitized. I was working on some cloud stuff so needed access to it to check some access rights. This was literally everything ever shown on the BBC ever downloadable in a ton of video and audio formats, iPlayer is just a fraction of what was in that archive. Took them about 6 years after I left to remove my account, so 6 years free access to probably the largest TV and movie database around. Worked out how to get the jackpot every time on a Connect 4 fruit machine in a pub I used to drink in. It would cost about pound five pound ten before you'd get into the bonus round, then when you did, you'd play a Connect 4 game against the machine. You place the first counter, and then after the machine places the next counter, you mirror the machine's move. Every game ends in a draw, and you win the jackpot, which was 50 pounds. The pub landlord removed the machine after around three months as it was regularly empty, basically paid for my drinking and more for three months. Used to work at Starbucks like seven years ago and they used to print these receipts where if you filled out a survey it would give you a six digit code which you could then exchange for a free drink. However when you gave in the receipt with the code we would just toss it in the garbage and then give the free drink. So over a shift I would just keep all the survey receipts when people didn't want them, write random numbers on them, then keep a wallet full of free coffee. Since I already got tons of free drinks, I would give them to homeless people and explain it was good for a free coffee. Probably gave away like 100 free drinks. Got keys to a new flat on a Friday afternoon, the place had electric but it wasn't in my name. Went to the electric company just before closing and the lady said flat 8 you say. We only have record of 7 flats on that building. Tell you what, glances at the clock, come back Monday with the serial number on your meter, and we'll get you all hooked up. I never went back and enjoyed free electric for over 2 years until I moved out. My old job I worked at a pretty large gym, gold level like the third highest level. Monthly fee was $79 for the gold membership but employees got a free diamond membership. Worked there for a year and a half before I quit, but my account was never deactivated. Been going there for a while completely free, still not found out. Diamond membership is like $200 a month. My family used to go to this campground in the summer and rent a little cabin for like a week. 
In the main building there was a little arcade, mostly older games, and a foosball table, and an air hockey table. What most people didn't know was, the air hockey table was broke. If you put quarters in, you could push the plunger to start the machine and then get your quarters back if you did it just right. A couple of years in a row were super fun because me and one other kid that knew would keep air hockey going for the entire time. The arcade would be filled with kids who would often play other games while waiting their turn at air hockey. They must have found out after a few years though because one year we went back and it was fixed. The arcade was also a complete ghost town, and the campground made no money off it after that. That's when I fully realized and understood the concept of a loss leader at like 13 years old. On the original Kindle, you could purchase a book with an expired card and Amazon would send you the book. A minute later, you'd receive a notification saying the payment didn't go through. You had to select something stating you were aware of this, and then they would take the book back. If you hit the home button, it took you out of the notification and you could continue reading the book, unaware that the payment didn't go through. I did this once a month my junior year in high school. The summer before senior year, I could not do it anymore. Coincidentally, my passion for reading died around that time. Local casino issued a $20 free play coupon in the newspaper with no expiration date. I talked to the newspaper delivery guy and asked him about that copy and he told me he's got one hundreds of them in the van as they were a few days old now. I got all of them, clipped out the coupons and proceeded to make $19.50 every day after work for around 500 or so days. Not quite years, but pretty damn close. The casino never printed a coupon without expiration one per customer rules ever since. Back in 19 and 99 2000s there was this web advertising company called All Advantage. You could install their ad banner on your computer and it would occupy like the bottom 15% of your screen and show you ads and they would pay you for the time you were exposed to the ads. Of course they had basic measures in place like stopping your accumulated time if your screensaver came on or your computer went to sleep. But all it took was a simple program that would keep your mouse slowly moving while you're actually away IRL and the AA clock would keep on ticking. Not sure if it keeping it running at all times I was away IRL ended up being cost effective in regards to cost of electricity but I was a teenager living with my parents so I didn't care about that. I think I pulled maybe $500 or so before the company went under. One week the local Chick-fil-A put a coupon in a local coupon magazine flyer which was buy one, get one free, any item on the menu. Next to that coupon A had a 50% off any menu A item. I carefully checked, and neither coupon mentioned cannot be combined with any other offer anywhere on it. So I ran out to the local grocery store and grabbed a stack of these flyers. Sure enough the next week the offer was gone, but it was too late to stop me. I spent almost two years as a grad student living almost exclusively off of 128 count nugget platters that I would get for 25% of the cost, first half off, second free. Place went under new management and they put up a sign saying they would no longer be accepting those coupons. Not entirely sure if that was due solely to me or if anyone else was pulling the same thing. I had about 20 coupon pairs left when they shut it down. When Life first came out, they were giving away free rides up to like $20.30 if I remember correctly, all you had to do was refer a friend. So me and my college roommate just made a few email address, and somehow my free rides glitched and I just kinda had free rides for the year. Edit, I remember what caused the glitch, I had lost my debit card that was linked to the account, so I had to cancel it and get a new one. For some reason, 
Life kept processing payments to my old card, but it never came out of my bank account. I used to live in an apartment across the road from a casino whilst at university. They released an app where if you check in you get points that go towards free food and drinks. Because I was close enough to the casino I could just check in without going to the casino itself. Every Saturday I used to get a free burger, fries and drink and watch sport in the sports bar. They eventually scrapped the app, it was awesome considering I was a broke uni student.